Hello, good morning, how are you? I am excited to talk about uh, functional movement for the next several days. Functional movement is, well, it's just a different way of looking at moving. And it's one that I think once you learn about functional movement, you never really look at exercise the same way. So uh, first, let's talk about what functional movement is. Functional movement is is looking at how the body moves as a system. So it's multi-plane, it's across multiple planes, it's across multiple joints. Often it asks the um, what is termed the core, or as I like to call it, the capsule. Um, on the back and the front, it, it invites that to come on board and participate in the movement versus, you know, just doing something out here. And it is uh, real world biomechanics. It's, it's how the body uh, moves. And why it's important to think about moving that way and why it's important to think about looking at your uh moving your body as as setting yourself up in a functional way is that it will help you to age well it will help you to move better it now and in the future and once i believe once a human being is armed with knowledge they can really start to take that knowledge and start to put it into their own lives. And that's to me is this is what's important is I think independent exercising is honestly one of the best gifts that um, I can help people achieve. So we're going to break down functional exercise. I have a really funny I have a really funny acronym that I use. Um, I don't know why I came up with it because I'm ultimately, I think it's because I'm a dork, <clears throat> but it is come sweet, let us poo poo. Okay, and involves a uh, carry, motor, stabilize, lunge, twist, squat, push and pull. We're gonna break down each of them and talk about why they're important. The first one is carry. So the thing about carrying is that First of all, I noticed it because this week um, I filled my garden beds and there were, you know, there's a ton of soil to move, right? And so I was shoveling, I was lifting bags, I was, um, I was lugging things, you know. It's really kind of the perfect exercise. Carrying is kind of the perfect exercise, I think. So first of all, in order to carry, there's some stability that is required both of your capsule and of your joints. Second of all, you there's a rotational component of carrying, right? Because you're picking something up but you're all, and you're asking your body to stabilize and you're also rotating around, you're twisting around by the load you're carrying. And then the third thing that you're doing is that you are putting load on your structure and, and, and moving with it. So you're in motoring with it. So it's kind of the perfect exercise. Also, there's a lot of different ways to load your body. So oftentimes you'll you know, you'll we'll teach in classes, or we'll uh, or I'll I'll teach with clients the this farm the farmers carry, which is an equal load in each hand, right? Which is great. Farmers carries are amazing. You know, you just hold a uh, weight in each hand and walk, inviting a really nice posture while you walk. That's great, and it's also often not real life. So I like to mess around with carrying things. So picking up just one weight and walking with one weight, um, picking up uh, weight in front, picking up weight on shoulder, picking up weight overhead, right? It And and playing with the, me the mechanics of my body in dealing with this load while I'm moving from point A to point B. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to start paying attention to and start to invite more of. 
<clears throat> so moving furniture this is all this is all opportunities for you to start to think about how can i how can i carry things how can i start to carry things so that um parking far away at the grocery store and instead of using the cart if you have a two bag load carrying your your bags out to your car seek out opportunities to carry things instead of getting the kids to do it or your partner to do it start to seek out opportunities to carry things and in addition to seeking out opportunities to carry things notice a few things notice how is my posture when i carry something notice can i shift easily does it feel uh does it feel okay in my body for me to move the weight from one arm to the other how much load feels good can i add more load start to play with you know playing with the load on your body where do you, where do you like it where does it feel good to carry and then notice that when you motor with your load notice when you walk with your load there's a lot of mechanics that go into place if you can start to really pay attention and zero in on the fact that um, your capsule your core front and back are involved um, that feet are involved that the strength of your legs are involved notice your posture within your carrying seek out opportunities to carry and seek out understanding how it feels to carry don't avoid it carrying is one of the best gifts to give your body all right that is part one of functional movement i'm so excited that we're doing this series tomorrow we will talk about motoring hey have a great day talk to you soon